Slimy Stewards. Hello, and welcome to Horrible Points of View. We've just been going through the vaults at the BBC and have dug out this bag of letters from the Stuart era. A number of them concern a recent performance of Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. What's the problem, guys? It's one of my absolute favourite plays, but when I went along to the theatre, I was shocked to find the part of Juliet being played by a woman. I mean, a woman playing the part of a woman. Who ever heard of such a thing? It may sound strange, but up until the reign of King Charles II, all female roles in theatre were played by men. And not everyone was happy when this changed. I can't believe I've been training for over a year to play the part of Juliet, and then they give it to a woman. I mean, a woman dressed as a woman on the stage it just doesn't seem right. Well, we took the complaints right to the very top and found out what King Charles II had to say on the matter. Marvellous, splendid, wonderful. What was the question again? So next time you're watching Hannah Montana, be thankful you're not in the Stuart era or she'd be played by a bloke. Good night. Those English actors thought they had it bad in the Stuart era. What about this French star of the stage? He had a particularly unpleasant final performance, I can tell you. Stupid deaths, stupid deaths, they're funny cos they're true. Woo! Stupid deaths, stupid deaths, hope next time it's not you. <laughs> and uh, I've hated foreigners ever since. Mm, especially the French. Next! Name? Moliere, French actor and playwright. It's not my day, is it? And uh, what sort of plays do you do? I was the master of comedy. Oh, this should be funny then. Well, come on then. Renverser les haricots, that's spiller de beans. But you probably already know that. Anyway, I was performing my most recent play, The Hypochondriac. The hyper what what The Hypochondriac. It is someone who is convinced they are always ill when they are, uh, how do you say, not ill. Oh, well, we all know someone like that. <laughs> Fit as a fiddle, really. Sorry, uh, continue. I was in the middle of a quite masterful performance in The Hypochondriac when I fell to the floor in a violent coughing fit. Ooh, all part of the play, of course. <laughs> pa, pa, pa. The audience thought so as well. But no, this was a real violent coughing fit. So real, in fact, that... Yes? That I died. You died? <laughs> the hypochondriac really was unwell. Did anyone in the audience die laughing? <laughs> I guess I think I might. Oh, go on. Au revoir. <laughs> oh, seriously, I might die laughing. <laughs> oh, no, I'm dead already, aren't I? Uh, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Next! Stupid death, stupid death. Hope next time it's not you. <laughs> The superstition that green brings bad luck to actors is said to originate from the colour of the clothing Moliere was wearing at the time of his death. <laughs> the rat knows all. <laughs>